Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy, and in today's video we're going to be discussing a question that we get all the time, which is, hey, do I train in the same exact truck that I'm going to take the test in? Now, before I give you this exact answer, let me kind of give you why people are concerned. So, some of the times students come to our school after they've experienced other schools, and one of the tactics that these other schools have is, they'll, test, they'll train you on one specific truck, that means, say they'll train you on, for instance, a Ford, uh, a Ford truck, and all of a sudden now you're starting to learn everything and all the components on the Ford, and now you're gonna go and jump into the truck for the road test and the truck that the school brings you've never seen before in your life, and that's an international. That being said, you are now freaking out because you've been training and everything on one in particular truck, and the truck they're bringing you to the test is completely different, which is pretty much almost guaranteeing that you're gonna fail unless you know where all the components are, in your quick study. That's one thing that here at Draven Academy we do not do whatsoever. So our fleet here at Draven Academy consists of pretty much just one model. We have the International Day Cab Single Axle Vehicles or 8600 model. Now with that being said, we do have automatic and manual transmission vehicles in that same exact model, which means we have a whole bunch of them in the yard and when you go to take the test at our third party testing site, we have a couple of those exact same trucks there. Now, are they gonna be the exact same truck that you're training on? Of course not. We have yard trucks, we have road trucks for training, we have road test trucks, so we keep them separate. Because if you're the one training on, the, on, a, on a truck, and all of a sudden you have a test, we're not gonna be driving that truck all the way to the testing site just so you can take the test. That truck's gonna stay in the training yard, but the model is exactly the same. So me knowing this, and I'm talking about exactly the same, if I showed you the trucks, there's no way that you can kind of see a difference. We're talking about within the, they're all within the uh, same type of, type of years as well. Maybe they're two to three years apart, but nothing has changed between one model to another, whether it's you're taking the truck on the road for training or whether you're taking the truck on the road for a road test. Now this video was inspired off of a few tests that actually happened this week. And one, and of course, this happened with people who failed their tests. So we had many people this week who actually wound up uh, taking the CDL road test and passing for the first time. However, the people who failed the test, and we do have a few of those as well, they all really have one thing in common. When somebody fails a CDL road test, they pretty much start looking for external reasons why they fail. Instead of make, taking responsibility for their own actions, they say, hey, something's wrong. This truck is not the same as the truck that, you're, that I trained in. And then I'm like, really? Come on, really? This is it, same exact truck, same exact year, even the same color. We all have this, they're all in the same color. So I don't understand why. So to kind of give you an example of a story, uh, this week a uh, gentleman was actually getting tested uh, for a retest. He failed on the road last time and all he had to do was come back to our third party testing site and go on the road portion of the CDL road test. If you're not aware, the CDL road test is going to be split into three different parts. First part of the test is all about inspecting the truck. They're going to have to inspect both the inside and outside of the vehicle. The second part of the test is all about parking the truck six different ways. And the third part of the test is actually driving the truck on the road itself. So this individual has already passed the first two sections of the test, which means he can come back and just take the third section of the test, which is driving on the road. So when it came time for me to take him on the road and, when, and it was his turn, he felt confident, he, he was good. He said he did some training yesterday in our training yard and he did great. He was in a stick shift truck and I said, are you sure you're comfortable with stick shift? You don't want to go in the automatic? He goes, no, John, I got this piece of cake. Now, anytime a guy has a lot of confidence like that, I start getting a little scary. People who have like humble confidence, then I can start reading that they're going to be okay. But we said, okay, no problem, it's your test, let's go for it. So all of a sudden we start going onto the road and he starts grinding some gears. Now in the beginning, I kind of let the first couple go because I know that you guys are nervous and I kind of want you guys to break into it. So all of a sudden he's grinding gears and then he starts kind of getting the hang of it. But now he starts blaming the truck. Well, this truck shifts different than the truck that I trained on. It's the same exact truck, dude. Of course, I can't say this because I'm the one giving him the test. But uh, that being said, another five minutes we pull up to a stoplight and all of a sudden he puts it into neutral, the light changes to green, he puts it into gear and all of a sudden he stalls the vehicle. Now, if you guys don't know, if you stall the vehicle during road test, it's an automatic fail. So what did he do wrong? 
At first he looked at the truck. Wait, I didn't do nothing wrong. What was the truck? And I just pointed to this thing right over here, which is the T-bar. So here at Driving Academy, we will teach you how to drive a 10-speed transmission. Now, if you know how to drive stick shift in a car, it's completely different than driving in a truck. One of the things that this 10-speed transmission has is 10 different gears, which means this T-bar right over here, if the T-bar is down, that means that you're going into your lower gears, one through five. If the T-bar is up, that means you're gonna be going into your higher gears, six through nine. So he thought he was starting off in fourth, but the T-bar was up, which means it's really he was starting off in ninth gear. And if you start off in ninth gear in a car or in a truck, you're gonna stall the vehicle right away. So all of a sudden I said, okay, let's switch seats. We're blocking traffic and I had to take control of the vehicle and drive the truck back. As I was driving the truck back, he started saying these comments again. Hey, John, this truck is not the same truck that I test that I uh, trained on yesterday. Uh, there's something wrong with the truck, he kept saying. And then while he's saying this, I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm not responding yet because I un understand it's a frustrating time when you fail the test. But I'm going through this truck, no problem, and I'm shifting without grinding any type of gears. So I'm like, hey, there's nothing wrong with the truck. There might have been something wrong with the driver. I'm shifting it, no problem. This truck works the exact same way as the truck you trained on last night. I understand nerves do play a big part in it, but unfortunately you do fail. And that was pretty much the case. So this was just a long story to tell you that we train you on the same trucks you're gonna take the test in. And when you show up to our testing yard and you say, hey, these trucks are different, I'm gonna start looking at you like, wait, do you need these? I think you might need these more than I, I need these because these are exactly the same trucks you trained on. Now, if you're coming in super nervous and you start making mistakes, that's something different. But don't come up with an excuse that we're testing you on something different. So if you're looking to get a CDL license, you want to give us a call, 908-525-3609. We're the best driving school in the entire country. And why are we the best? Because we're probably the only school, if not the only one of the few schools, that can actually guarantee that we get your license and we can walk you through the entire process, which means we can help you out with all the training and we can also give you the CDL road test. So I'm one of the CDL examiners here as well, which means I might be the one testing you or somebody from our staff, which means you do not have to go to any kind of DMV. You don't have to worry about the big backlogs of wait time. We don't have to worry about dealing with state examiners. Just give us a call to find out more information, 908-525-3609, or check out our website below, cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour, to get more information on the exact pricing on how our program works. Thanks, and hopefully you have a fantastic day. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really gonna help us out. Click on that button. And if you wanna continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.